thank you very much uh, for all the support. I'm uh, not going to be able to keep up, but thank you for the subs. Welcome, King of Boston, little cute demon. Thank you, everyone, for the love. Hope we'll all enjoy it. We're going in right now. I'm excited to see David Arquette. So I'm hoping we don't have any stutters. If we do, I may have to play around with the settings a little. I woke up to an open door Wrapped up in my lover's arms I feel it in my weary bones I'm home But nothing to Let me know if you guys see Frame Flutters. I always forget what it's called. Good song. Considering it's streamer mode, it's a good song. Screen tearing, that's the one. Oh, they're going to crash. Laura. 11.50, June 24th. Let me know if I should adjust the audio. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L. Love. Like the L word. Lesbians. Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just we're in geographic flux. Right. So, lost. That's debatable. <laughs> Oh, I should turn tutorials off. The following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Okay. Oh, heads up. Ooh, my controller is not plugged in or something. What? <laughs> was that not, was that not B? What was that? Was that not B? That was B, right? I have an Xbox controller. That was a circle, right? There's no circle on an Xbox controller, so I figured it's B. <laughs> Is it up? <laughs> really? Did you even watch? Yeah, even in the tutorial, when the circle was shown, I clicked B thinking, oh, am I meant to click? And nothing happened. And then I figured, oh, okay, so I can't interact with the tutorial. And then I just let it play. <laughs> okay, good. Well, the tutorials are obviously made for idiots like me, so. Nice catch there, Han. I'm not the one who hit the pothole. Well, maybe the pothole hit us. Never think about that. Wow, that is like Olympic level goalpost moving. Thank you. Very impressive. Thank you. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Something's gonna happen that actually matters, and I'm not ready. You 
You know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so... Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. She reminds me of, um, hot blonde girl from Until Dawn. Oh. Uh... Let's go with map. Uh, voila! What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how do happen to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. It's audio out of sync. No bars. Of course not. Okay, let's see. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put some... I'll fix that now before we get into things. Are these real actors? Yeah, they've got David Arquette in this. Our camp's on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Let me know how it is. I just adjusted it a little bit because some people said it was fine. Hey, eyes on the road! What's going on with him? Oh. Max! Stop the car! Popped up a little late. I panicked a little. Yeah, yeah. I need that tutorial again, man. I'm not sure what. Jesus Christ! What do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max. I wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Him looks good so far. Hmm, game looks really good. Right, I do wanna- it's gonna stress me out. Chat. I'm trying to find a way to show if it's synced or not. Someone said it's worse now. Look at the arrows on the left and look when I click, okay? Most of you say it's fine, so I don't really know them. It's not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. I'm gonna get the toolbox. Where did you say it was? In the back? Real unlocked interrupts. <laughs> it's 
Only for the best. At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. <laughs> it is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. Okay. Let me redo this QTE tutorial because I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> Take a moment to consider the following as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are I didn't notice that arrow the first time, so I thought it was a circle. I forgot I was playing right with an Xbox time. controller. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours cool. to choose. I but that doesn't bathe. mean there won't be obstacles along the way. I like these tutorials, though. You failed again? Yeah, I, I, I guessed the direction before the arrow showed up. <laughs> Alright, let's snoop. Rejected. Dear Mr. Brinley, thank you for your interest in Landis University. This year we are delighted to have received an influx in... I got rejected from uni. Thanks, honey. Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect. Max you. and Laura. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture this is, uh, up in front of big old space whatever it's called. called. A ref someone's gonna catch on fire later. Well, anywhere's better than here. Oh. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. There's no timer. Okay. Uh, hurry up. God, Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, that, they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? If there's a woman there, I would you not? I just want to check it out. Okay. Yeah, why wouldn't you I... have checked earlier? Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah, yeah. He walks with her? What's going on here? Oh, okay. What's he doing? Okay. Luck with the car. Oh, I see, okay. I mean, she seems fairly agile. I feel like she could have just hopped down herself. Tarot found. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. Or recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity? Actions without thoughts. But the consequences to match. Think. Think and don't get burnt. Harum Scabum. Scarum. Harum Scarum poster. This is a poster for Traveling Sideshow. It looks like it's been here a while. Enough forgotten in the woods. Are those burn marks around the edges? 
Freak Show Fire. That must be the name of the chapter, maybe? Hold on, is there something down here? Strange devices. That of an escapologist, escapologist, perhaps? Relic of a tra traveling show that must have passed through the area. Oh, I don't like this camera angle. Lost. I don't know where I am. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's she doing? Oh, I saw someone behind that tree. Right there. Am I angling this? Oh. Where are you? For the branch, nailed it. Hop, hop. Hey, 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 hey. what's wrong? What's wrong? Is everything all right? Holy shit! Talk to me. What's going on? What's going on? There's something out there. Like I was, there was noises all around honey, me. Honey, 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 take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Ah, okay. uh, they're about to die. You're about, or maybe like they get put in a freak show circus that we get to see what? in the middle of the game. We're gonna see them in like a cage. Yes, there we go. Per Give me one second, please. My um, I got an error on my computer. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. I can kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Are you fucking kidding me? Max! I just... Okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Max! Have I seen him somewhere? Can you just... I am trying to get us out of here! Alright, enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're that okay. face. <laughs> We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh, fuck! What oh the hell? Oh my god, my heart just exploded. What? Roll it down. Sheriff? Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. He has blood on his neck. Is that not worrying you? 
Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? The Toriyon unlocked. Path chosen. <laughs> Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched okay. with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned. Some paths are more dangerous than others. Mm, classic. I remember those things in Until Dawn as well. <clears throat> yeah. Um... Do we lie? Now this guy's probably bad. He has blood on his neck. Um, something jumped out. We're gonna be honest. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we Nothing swerved wrong with that. and. Nothing wrong with that. Now here we are. Something jumped out. Uh. It was dark. I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. We're going the honest path. They. Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Sir? Path chosen. Keep the car running. Cop seems Sir? anxious. I mean, he's got blood on his neck. Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. What? Oh. He's helping us. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. Um. Friendly. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. You're not going to make it to Hackett's quarry. Not it's a tonight. tree that's fallen. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there. What's for with the okay. blood, bro? Uh, I think we're just going to stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am. You're going to head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Why not Hackett's Quarry? With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem- Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? Why? Drive. Didn't do anything. Max, drive. Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. Okay. For sure. Son? Remain in the vehicle. But Max is the one driving. Why wouldn't he want to... Okay. Okay. Why is she the one? There's something amiss here. Okay. So, we... Are right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, 
I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. I'm trying to wonder, I'm wondering if he's just a weirdo, but not bad. Maybe that's a big mosquito that he smacked against his neck. And he knows that the road is haunted at night, but he doesn't want to tell us that because he'll sound like a freak. So he just wants us to go Why to the motel. Why is this guy just sitting there? I'm just playing devil's advocate. Um, that guy was weird. That guy was giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? Did I, you see was, that? Was it blood? It's a mosquito, nice guys. It's a mosquito. Meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <sighs> All right, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. I don't like this What's camera there? angle. Hackett's quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know, I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> Very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am? Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, Whoa. do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I, 20 is debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into ma'ams. Huh. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> Whew. Hmm. Oh, they made it to Hackett's Quarry. At half past midnight. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Good script Hello? so far. I guess the conversation the between them. How was I supposed to know that? I mean... Clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get yeah. the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really good voice acting it and script, uh, just look at the, the... The conversation between them feels quite real. Is anybody home? It's a promising start. Isn't it funny how humans are like that? Like you've tried a door, you know it's locked, you know no one's home because you've been stood there for five minutes. And yet, you try again. <laughs> it's like when you know that you turned off the stove, but you can't stop thinking about it when you're in the bed. You're like, I've got to check. I've got to check. LB seems to be walk faster. Oh. Hello. Hello. The cool camera effect. Okay. 
really nothing I can do? Ooh, probably those well-lit creepy doors at the end of this <laughs> path. Let's go see how it's going over here. Oh! Oh? Uh... Hey, you ready to oh. roll? Uh, no. Nice use of the right stick for the the flashlight. It's so dark. Is that a pig? I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some help. Okay. Max! Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know, you just said tools. <gasps> Why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Um... I'm not seeing anyone. Wait, no, look! I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... Why? What well, gives you the right to break in? Just because you... Okay, uh... I'll take the hammer. Hammer time. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. Someone's trapped? No, um... Well, if it's gonna be loud, we'll go with wrenches. Yeah, okay. Wrenches. Damn. You need a hand? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. You've seen the evil dead, right? Hello? We've got some really good shots so far. Are you hurt? Cinematic Do you angle. exist? Hey, be careful. This is me and Alex when Alex sees something at night. We're out for a walk. Ian! Must explore. Blooded collar. What kind of dog would be called Ian anyway? Max? Laura, look around. Ah! Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey, it's been kind of a night, you know? 
Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... <laughs> Oh fuck, Max! Max! Fuck, that scared me, Max. <laughs> what? Help. Oh, he's gonna get dragged away! Uh, Laura, you gotta run. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh, fuck. I got you, Max! Come on, Max! Max, man, you, you've got legs. Oh, we're so close. Uh oh. No! Huh? Oh shit. Man, I defended you. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? Every little movement, every little thing you do. Chat, uh, these games always have an intro where either way the characters die. All of their games have these kind of intros. Every little movement, every motion. You sure about that? Yeah, 100%. Until Dawn has one where they're at a cliff, and it's either like, either way they die, but it's like, kind of different. Um, and, um, I know this one in all of those dark pictures ones, all, all of intros as well. And so it's the intro scene. That's why I was saying like, oh, we'll see these guys later or whatever. It's all, it's a classic. Couldn't go to the motel. Whoo! Nice music, honestly, for copyright free as well. It's good. So uh, I keep looking over, and every time I look over, someone's saying the game audio's off. What's going on here? Can somebody clip it and send it to me so I can adjust this? I'm having most people saying it's fine, but then every now and then someone's saying it's off, and I need I need to have a look. Does anyone have any sort of clip? You can't tell me it's fine, and then there's others saying that it's off, and that it's putting them off from the game. It makes no sense. Someone surely has a clip so I can find out. It's weird, it looks like the audio is dubbed. Hmm. People were saying the same thing yesterday. Uh, watching the um, Summer Game Fest. They were, most people said it's fine, and some people were saying the audio is first. I'm almost wondering if it's an OBS thing, if OBS is, is doing something weird. Um, because sometimes when I have, you know when I have my frame drops uh, for an hour sometimes, people then say, afterwards say, the audio is way off, and then when they refresh, it's good. It's really weird. I think it's something with Twitch or OBS, something with that. I don't think it's something on my end. Um, because it's, yeah, it's the exact same when there's frame stuff. Try refreshing if you're having audio issues. Your webcam is synced with audio perfectly. Yeah, I, I, I do think this is, uh, I don't think it's, yeah, I th yeah, try refreshing, I'd say. It's a very odd issue. Pretty sure it's Twitch, refreshing worked for me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because the fact that some people have it and some people don't tells me that it's um, a Twitch thing. Oh. oh. 
Dude, the game, the audio is way off in this for me. Does this look like the- Even the gunshots. It was not like that for me, wasn't like that for me. Okay, it's a Twitch thing, if so. Um, it's it, This has been a thing for a while now. Every now and then people say that it's really off. Um, yeah, it's a, if you're having this kind of sync problem, try refreshing, chat. Because the fact that it's only for some means I can't do anything on my end. But are you out of sync? If you're also out of sync, then it's a Twitch thing. Uh, no, but the, the, yeah, I think it's something to do with how OBS sends audio to Twitch. Something's going on there. Because when, as I said, when I have frame drops, a similar thing happens. And people are like, whoa, things are out of sync. Then they refresh and it's fine. Uh, let, let me know. Let me know. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into yeah, the- Yeah, you're the Pieta Stormana of this game. Yes. And terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. Uh, chat, try also turning off low latency mode in your settings. I'm seeing some people this say it's refreshing doesn't work. Found. In the settings, low latency. If it's on or off, I try the other one. Who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. All recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity. Actions without... I thought it was spontaneity with a U. Really with an E? Match. Think. Think. And don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. Oh, I'm thinking of continuity. You're right. Um, thinking don't get burnt. I'd like to see more. This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. Look here. Look here. Okay. What? There are oh. secrets out there, you know. Secrets and I might not want to see those. I don't know. That seems to uncover on which I can shed light if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. If turning off low latency mode made it worse, as I'm seeing some people say, that means it's Twitch and not me, and I can't do anything about it. Sorry to those having audio issues. This is copyright free music. Ah, oh, Planet Zoo, man. Biggest issue with Planet Zoo was that they got the Jurassic World IP. If they didn't get that, we'd see a dinosaur DLC for Planet Zoo. And I'd play the shit out of it. Ladies. August 22nd, so this is two you months later. It? Yeah, hack its quarry forever!
I guess these are counselors. You know carts are broken on the last day of summer camp. It's like a romance apocalypse. Uh, <laughs> they'll get over it. Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh huh. Like they'll get over Emma. What? That's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad mood. like the guy from the 70s show. <laughs> you know that what? 70s show. We had our last night together, and we're cool. He's dressed like him oh, as yeah. well. Oh, yeah. So cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Ooh, motion blur. Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? <laughs> Good to know. Jesus, dude, I've never seen such intense motion blur. I don't even know if you can turn that off. It wasn't in the settings, I don't think. Is there something, like, in NVIDIA settings or whatever, maybe? This is... What the fuck? Is this really... It almost looks like it's something wrong. You can turn it off in the settings. It's really, really bad. Cinematic filter off. Graphics. It's not here, unless it's one of these. Is it hidden in like effect quality? You've got to be able to turn that off. It's not here. Depth of field? I mean, that's not motion blur. That's depth of field. Camera settings. Ooh, yeah, maybe camera settings. No. Pressed it in display on the bottom. No, this isn't it. This is kind of cool, though. Accessibility. <sighs> no. Yikes! I'm gonna I'm gonna get motion sick with this on. Why is it? It's set to like extreme. I've never seen it that bad. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on Dylan. fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on, broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags what's in there. Come wrong on. With this thing, it's just. Dylan, closing. please. They're getting high. Cool. Thanks, guys. Effects and depth of field can both cause blurring. Try turning it off. Sorry for all the- there's a lot of stuff here that needs fixing. Kinda sucks, but... Effects... Low. No. <laughs> of course, depth of field causes blurring, it's literally the point. Depth of field? I thought that was, uh... We break in. I thought depth of field is where it's like... Blurry in the background and focused in the front. Oh, skill. That's something different. I feel like it's worse now. Hey, Morteo, just skip ahead five minutes. <laughs> so we're slowly. Uh, 
Is there any chance anyone can Google if you can turn it off in the NVIDIA settings? I would, honestly. I'd, I'd go through the effort. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. I love horror. I'd be so sad if Alex didn't like horror. Because it's so much fun to watch together. Like if my partner didn't like horror, I'm not gonna watch it alone, you know? <sighs> when I tried up the field, I have, it's set to normal now. There's only two options, normal and ultra. I might have turned it up again, but I tried it on normal, it was the same. Found it? You found it! Want a link? Hell yeah! Hit me with it. Scully, if this is correct, could there be a VIP <laughs> in the making? How to turn off motion blur? Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. The config file is located here. Oh, we're doing this. We're doing this. I'm turning off motion blur. I'll have to exit the game while I do it. Okay, so. Config file is located here. App data of oh, the classic. Enjoy some music. Uh, local, the quarry. Saved. I need this off because I'm already feeling motion sick. <laughs> I get really bad motion sickness. Game user settings. And then I found two entries. Enable camera motion blur. Enable camera motion blur. Oh, do I just add them? I tried adding these. I'll try it, but this guy says it didn't work for him. I'll add it, doesn't hurt. Anything else in here I could turn off? We're gonna have to live with it. <laughs> yeah, I'll make sure depth of field is turned up again. It didn't make a difference either way. Thanks for trying, Scully. Confirm doesn't work? No, it doesn't work. I can continue in. Oh, yes. Uh, the guy confirmed there. He said when it's daytime, Ugh. it got bad. Horror. Which I hate horror. Um, which seems to be the case. Hopefully, there's a lot of night scenes, so we don't have to deal with it too much. I'll try not to look around too much. 
God, that's actually terrible. Just making sure I'm not missing any collectible. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, oh, I thought they were the getting high. Are. Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Mr. H. Chat, what's the actor's name for the guy I was talking about? The guy who does a bunch of philanthropy today? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Try again. Ashton Kutcher. Thanks. That's who he reminds me of. You know what, though? So far, other than the motion blur, which is a pretty big fuck up, I will say the game is looking really good. Um, big reminder of Until Dawn so far. Big, big uh, Until Dawn vibes. And this place needs a serious overhaul. Oh. Jesus. What am I meant to do? Am I meant to get the bags? Have I been told where they are? Came from here. with the bags. You're in the car? No, we're putting bags in the car. We're leaving, aren't we? The kids just left. I figure it's the end of summer. We're, we're the counselors. Our job is done, right? No? <laughs> Am I misunderstanding the story? <laughs> You're taking the bags out? Oh, am I? No, 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 we're leaving, right? No, 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 we're, we're not, we, it started off with us saying bye to the kids. We've been counselors. I'm just, I'm having trouble finding the rest of the bags. Am I meant to go out the window again? Slaughter. <laughs> oh, double skull. <sighs> Why wouldn't I just open the door? <laughs> now, where the hell are these bags that I'm asking for help with? Oh, what's this? Seventy years. Mm. I bet you the bags were in there. I don't. Okay, we're going back inside. Or maybe, maybe I talked to her. <laughs> I'm not so sure we're meant to find the bags. Can't find the bags, babe. Bags. Okay, Caitlin, we're not together, are we? Okay, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so back up. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
back in the fucking doorway. Check Discord when you can. Okay, Alex. Are you sending me a tutorial on how to find the bags? Okay, let's use your eyes, Tio. Can I go up the stairs? But it's blocked, right? Yeah. He doesn't let me in. This isn't touchable. This isn't touchable. Fuck, man. This is... Like, if I were to parody motion blur, this is what I'd set it to. Um... My chat's moving kind of fast, which makes me feel like I'm missing it. The bags <laughs> where are the bags <laughs> your parrot your your you're fucking with me you do not see the bags oh the bags <laughs> why are you going around asking for help for two tiny duffel bags. You do not need help with these. There must be more, surely. I thought there was gonna be a big pile of bags somewhere. The tiniest bags. All right, got the bags. <laughs> Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my God, you are so mean. <laughs> I well, asked three I different it. people oh. for help okay, with the bags. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Um. <laughs> oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Hmm. Smug. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> Who said I was hiding that? I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. <laughs> so she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing... Is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Defeated. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have like this superpower over me, but you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over <laughs> Excuse here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? That's right, because I could charm the pants off a snake. That's maybe the dumbest thing you've ever said. No, no, I've definitely said dumber. Yep. You could already so tell that sure they've put that more work into this. Buckets roadworthy. <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you 
will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like a arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not breaking the fuel line. I'm stealing the rotor arm. you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, Go don't. Long. Oh, Nick! Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. I like Jacob. Oh. Ooh, I wish I this had guy, singles. Freaks. I'm all over this guy. Freaks. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, Ben. There's always that a little too long pause before I get to make a decision. Um, at least I got uh, some. Okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? <laughs> Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> Ooh, Emma. Emma, Emma, Emma. Right, idea for turning off motion blur found online by someone in chat. If you have an NVIDIA car, here's how to fix it. Go into the NVIDIA control panel, find program setting, add the quarry as a game to edit if a profile does not exist, find anti-aliasing setting, have it override the game settings, and set aliasing... Set, set anti-aliasing as high as you can without murdering frame rate. Set negative LOD bias to clamp if it's not that way already. Set AA transparency setting as high as you can. Optional, set an... This guy really came in with all the settings. He gave me like four different settings to set. Anitrospheric filtering as high as possible as well. Hmm? Is this not Emma? Oh, this is Abigail. Get ready to leave with Emma. Yeah, my bad. That will lag your game. Yeah, I think we're just going to live with it. Listen, the game's mostly going to be in nighttime once it starts going, so um, I don't think it'll be as bad then. I don't. I don't think this is going to work if it's just some random thing that's found online. Um, thanks for for looking that up for me though. But uh, I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna play. I've already got anti-aliasing set pretty high here in in-game, or the the highest in in-game settings. So, um, cool. Let's play. Mm, Abigail. I bet you Abigail's a little lame. Am 
I saying Abigail in a weird way? Why are you guys making fun of me? How do you say it? Abigail. What, do you speed it up more or something? Why do you say it? What do you mean? Hey there, part Abigail. Bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh, too slow. Really? Oh boy. I'm gonna You're about make to get your phone lame. back, aren't you? <laughs> Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Abigail. How, how about locked. that? Bags inside. <sighs> Abigail. Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Break in. Okay, let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't Ooh, do Abigail? it. Abigail? Yeah. Mr. Oh. Hackett's coming out. So what? I'll just think. Oh about the shit! It is. Yes, yeah, it's from Modern Family. No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three. Ugh. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Emma kinda looks like uh Yes. What's her name? I will find a husband with a lot of money. I can't sound. <laughs> That's not how she talks. <laughs> Alex, how does the old Gloria talk? With a Spanish accent? I was trying it. It didn't sound great. Manny! Yeah. Manny! What's, what's her husband called? Jay. 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 You are old. Nah, no, you know, I can't do it. <laughs> Why would this place be in the news? Let's get a text going. Freak show goes up in flames. Dozens killed in fire at traveling show. Hmm. Last night in Hackett Woods, the widely anticipated harem scarum ended in tragedy as a blaze ripped through the show's attractions, burning the entire site to the ground in a matter of minutes. Though our fighters were eventually able to contain the flames, it is thought that dozens perished. Hmm. Oh, there's a text. My bad. There's been no official statement on the confirmed death toll yet. However, we can reveal that one of the deceased is known as Sheriff Hank Miller of North Kill. What year is this from? What year? Wasn't that- that could have been the sheriff we met. He wasn't alive. He was dead all along. It says at the top. Oh yeah, 2015. <gasps> How do I switch- ah. Uh. This show no signs of arsons. This looks like it was nothing but a tragic accident. There's no secret how quickly fire can go up in a dry wooded area to, um, through the harm scar and followed all the correct safety procedures. Sometimes acts of gods like this are sadly unavoidable. Our thoughts go out to Hank's families and to all those who lost their lives in this tragic turn of events. When questioned on how the Hackett family have reacted to the news of the fire, blah, 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 blah. Our priorities right now are to ensure nothing like this ever happens again. Blah, 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 blah. Members of the public are being asked to avoid the area. Blah, 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 blah. Cool, I guess that's what I was coming in here. Ooh. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Aw. This was little Izzy's. Take it. I wanna play it. For sure, this is. I'm gonna keep it. This is Chekhov's gun. 
I'm telling you. That's what it's called, right? No, no, no. Listen, listen. You think it's a- someone said someone is gonna hear you with that. No, you know what? I'm gonna be able to distract the killer with it. It's a good thing. The path updated because I have it so I can distract someone. Not a bad thing. I'm telling you. I don't think she went this way. But because we can... I'm gonna check it out. What's that? Is that something shiny? No, it's... A monkey bomb, exactly. What? It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. It was a face. It kind of looked like Jigsaw. Can I really check every single one? Prediction result is no. What was the prediction? Will Teo kill a character in the next hour? Was that it? Man, who said yes to that? Come on, the games are a slow burn. How many people really said yes to that? Wow, a lot of you. Chat, this game is like twice as long as the Dark Pictures games. <clears throat> Luna, I cannot pet you. I suspect Alex will come fetch you. Here she is. Come on, Luna, go to Alex. The settings also took quite some time. I mean, with that logic, someone's gonna die in the next 20 minutes. <laughs> I think, I think it'll, it'll be a while. <laughs> We could skip those kind of predictions. I suspect it's just going to lead to problems, to be honest. Ready to roll? Problem is, sometimes you have fake deaths. You think someone's died, and then two hours later, they're still alive. Um. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Come on, she looks like Gloria. She looks like a young Gloria. What yeah. People want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now, anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Which one was Nick? Watch out! <gasps> oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school, like, four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But, that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his Snapchat. email. Snapchat. It was in the package his they gave to us. His email. Email. Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really going to miss you, Abby. Yeah, because she's going to be dead. Oh, hold on. Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. 
We're, we're swimming. We're going swimming. Scenic route. One last oh, okay. victory lap around the camp. Uh, scenic route. Let's do it. Yes. Sure. What's the victory? Two months. This is good. No I need the info. Got to update my I mental map. It was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. <laughs> That's me. Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I completely feel you. I provide you, very important to go and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious videos. Totally with you. No. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Ah, uh, yeah. I like Emma. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be like really happy or rock. My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Oh, shit. Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before... Mr. H is probably know, David Arquette. For the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably... Yeah, get back. Oh, yeah. It's gotta be. Nick's, you They're know, mentioning him so much. You. Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick. Waiting for you. All. Everyone. Same. David Arquette is in this game? Yeah! Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? It, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No! <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Oh, why are you all awkwardly standing in Just a circle? Just gotta get these bags up onto the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take uh. care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her Listen, own Emma, bag. Listen, Emma. Thank you. These you bags. I've been looking around for help with them. Bag. Thank you. Cool. These bags are tough. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's nudge. Uh, uh Abby. Do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. <laughs> yeah, thanks! <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, he he's probably off the doors. being all brooding and yeah. mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Murder mystery. Uh, protective. Let's be protective. I think it's called How to Mind Your Own Business. You should listen to it. Hell yeah. Okay. Ghosts. Ghosts. Yeah, well, all sorts of cryptozoology really the, the episode i was listening to was actually about this place oh yeah yeah the one that you were talking about to the uh, kids at the campfire the hag of hackett's quarry yes what's the hag of hackett's quarry you don't know about the hag of hackett's quarry uh, surely you guys would have guys? known over like so campfires the, the last quarry. couple months i don't think she wants to know about the hag of hackett's uh, quarry oh, can we just please stop saying the hag of hackett's quarry it's just this 
campfire story for the kids. It's um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. We saw her in the intro. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haga, it's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They ah, okay, were scarred yeah. for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You got to be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Hey, hey, there I, he I, is. Really done, Mr. H. Well, up to it. Get those butts in gear. Oh, he's looking a little. Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to impress the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! Is he swollen? He's swollen, Hey, you right? still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, oh, I do. Not. You know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, man. dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like, five minutes, that's all I need, man. He said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Meet you at the van, okay? Mm, I really like the script. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh... Uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with, with the... Hey, it looks more normal now. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Yeah, the dialogue. I'm gonna eavesdrop. What? Because kids are kids. <laughs> Don't be so much your boat. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, <laughs> should I have? He's gone quiet. <laughs> Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Oh. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I, I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I, I mean, I would. I didn't hear. Why wouldn't you stop? Cool, Why Just, would you? Come on, it's sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you thought I should do? Right. You, you know. Listen, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. 
Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one True. of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just... Ease up on the ghost stories. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Got to understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Hmm. Something's going to happen. There's something going on, man. Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Hmm. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see them again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. Yeah, there were quite well, a lot I'll of bags, both Chris. You were sad you missed them. You have no idea, man. Unlocked so many van. bags. Put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left him. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. What's up, Dibe? Thank you, Wasted Live, for the three bucks. I believe in you, Tio. You'll keep everyone alive. First try, just like an Until Dawn. Hell yeah. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. He kind of looks like Witty Brad. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Noob! I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Cause it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with what our respective What are happening to Noob, lives. man? People aren't saying Noob anymore. Go. I like Noob. What's the problem? Ugh. Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. Ah, uh, yeah, shit. No. Yeah, dude, it's just like... Kaput. Oh, what a shame. Alright, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, <laughs> dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm God. Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Kids, I haven't masturbated all summer! Tonight was gonna be my special night! Okay. 
Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. That's why he's so tense. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh. Beeped it. <laughs> hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Wait, we have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. <laughs> are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? <laughs> well, For those who weren't here, we um, inside, like he said. Jacob we fucked up the car on purpose. Until morning. Yeah. Because Emma or, broke up with him, because they're going to be long distance, so he wants another night with her. Or, we could do something else. Um, I'm curious. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. They immediately avoid the guy's, Mr. H's instructions. Oh, dude. Fuck <laughs> you. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Let's get some alcohol yeah, going. No loosen in, up a little. Obviously, my man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Mm -hmm. Let's join in on I don't that. think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we Chris get it. Chris is getting you know, bored of uh, Ryan. You don't want to disappoint Daddy. Mm. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told me. <laughs> Ryan, come on, man. Wait. <laughs> come on, Ryan. No, don't go. Ryan. All right, all right, all right. No. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. 
How are they getting to the stores? Oh, okay. Well, can I aim? What the fuck? These guys are good, I swear. They defend this place from... from ghosts and shit. They're also hunters in the daytime. That's why he's bloody. He's a butcher. Turned on. Um, feel free to go pee. I saw some people asking for a pee break. Go pee now. I turned on streamer mode, right? <clears throat> on, yeah. Is this paths? What? Down the rabbit hole. I want to play a game. Something's toy. View your path. Abby chose to help Emma break into the cabin. Abby was able to explore inside the cabin. And because of that, Abby put the forgotten toy in her bag. Okay. Jacob removed the rotor arm from the minivan. Because of that, we couldn't leave. I was honest with the cop about the accident on the road. Or tried to help Max after he was attacked in the storm shelter. And we don't know the effect of these yet, but there's gonna be more about it. Interesting. Uh, my camera's in a good spot, right guys? We're not, I shouldn't switch to the top right? There are no moments where you guys are like, ugh, he's in the way. Dude, really? Uh, so far, I'm really into it. Cam. Oh, sorry. I'll wait another 30 seconds. Did you notice the old dude putting blood on his face was Carl from Detroit Become Human? Oh, shit! Yeah! What do you think about the characters? I'm really liking them so far. Is this from the same developers as Until Dawn? Yeah, it's kind of a spiritual sequel. Kind of thing. Successor. Now, the reason we don't have um, Pieta Stormare is because they couldn't afford him. Come back I would assume. Me. Let's see what you found. What do you think the monster is? Empty hand. Ghosts. You need to look around you. And find my cards freaks. and I can help you. Where I'm from, we Fuck, I missed a card. Find them, please. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for yeah, circus freaks. With a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And Look out for my cards. What do the cards do? It's premonitions. 
So on the last one, I got to see the car on fire. And later on, when I, as Jacob, get to fuck up the car, I get to choose between some mechanical part and cutting the fuel line. And I chose the mechanical part because cutting the fuel line would mean... I assumed it would mean fire. Like the premonition showed. Edgy White Dabs, thanks for subscribing, man. So here we are. Solid unit. Stranded. Welcome. In the great American Painted wild. Catalyst, thanks for 37. To guide us. Will I'll read you in a bit, buddy. Or or after this chapter. Ravenous and Much resort luck. to eating the flesh of the deceased, like I saw in that one plane crash movie. <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Ow. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Yeah! Whoa! And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You loosened it for me. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. <sighs> ah, none of the characters annoy me yet. I, I really like them all. Mr. H loved his accessories. <laughs> Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! Oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See? You just cut a hole in it? Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it? Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, <laughs> second most. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. It's pretty smart, actually. Not fucking a watermelon. Putting vodka in it. Harem scarum. Harem scarum. These flyers are promoting a traveling show called Harem Scarum. The date listed indicates that it took place over six years ago. Oh, it's recent. I thought it was an older thing. This camera angle is making it tough to find things. We got a bit of a puzzle. Can I go up here? No. Who buys this crap? I wonder if I wonder if we'll get the classic rat. There's always a rat scare. At some point there's gotta be a rat scare. 
I check the cage first? Yeah, okay. We'll check the cage first. Very dark. Don't leave. Thank you. It'll be a raccoon because he mentioned them earlier, I bet. Oh, good, good, um, good thought. Yeah. I've been talking a lot about raccoons. <laughs> Hello, old friends. I have a theory. Oh, yeah. The two hunter guys are going to try to scare me. Ooh, let's scare Jacob can't pass up an opportunity like this to try to get us to leave this place okay have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants because you're about to oh my <laughs> all right now where should i hide That's your hiding spot? Jacob! Emma? Hello? Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. No, they're they're funny. You think this <laughs> is supposed to be funny? I mean, yeah. <sighs> well, do you think it's funny now, little boy? I oh, because you want to join twenty of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal. I. I. What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. Jacob, man, we all, we were rooting for you. Ah, oh, buddy. She's still wearing that. No, it's gone. What happens if I go now? You know what's good about having likable characters like this? Realistic uh, dialogue. And you get attached to the characters. Makes it sadder when they die. Quote too high, look for cheaper options. Renovation plans. out oh uh, all righty then door buckle up because you are about to meet your maker well I don't know about this oh okay yeah good done <laughs> whoa <laughs> whoa Fucking mother lad. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder he kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made his stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh, Jacob's smart. Oh. 
Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. An empty box. Evidence. Craft of melons for the guys too. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt. And at Hackett's <laughs> Quarry, fucked. that's no different. There are secrets in these woods. Fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence. And you may just prove your innocence. Or not. Jacob! Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. It look like camping supplies. Oh, okay, um... There's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a bear do this? Gosh, with flex. Oh, okay. Thought there'd be thoughts. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Oh, cool. Oh, what? What is it? Cool, she a says. Gun? She finds oh, a gun and. Cool. What? Oh, and Americans. <laughs> Just code. so. What? <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> All right, we got a code. What the fuck are you doing? Okay. I'm done. Oh, I'm I'm not as big of a fan of him anymore. <laughs> oh. Absolute moron. Or the melons. All right, cool. Let's go. So you're, uh, you're really going to keep the gun, huh? Yeah. For bears. This isn't okay. a good idea. You're all uh, going to be well, drinking. I am going to find something to haul this lot back to camp. a long way back. Have I missed something? No? He's gonna scare me with a mask. Why would it give me the option to walk back rather than just kind of take me back? I feel like I missed something in old T.O. fashion. Oh no, I've already got this. Hmm, you hear that? There's a door. Something's gonna go down. Missing something. The safe. What safe? Did I find a safe? I know I got a code. 
I didn't know there's a safe. Where was there a safe? In here? <laughs> Where he made the melon joke. Oh, so past him. Okay, I thought you meant in this room. Don't remember finding a safe. <laughs> I'll remember when I see it. All right. I, don't know, I must have been thinking about I'm something when we looked at the I, safe. Very nice. <laughs> Oh my god, she gets bullets. What are you doing? What else Stop is in it. there? Uh, just Wait. some fireworks. Oh, oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should- No, 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 Emma. No, I right. Emma, you absolute moron. You pick up a shotgun, start playing around with it, you get the shells, don't even second guess it. But the fireworks are too dangerous. I swear to god, Emma fireworks. is going down on my list. With alcohol as well. Yeah, grab the fucking fireworks. Come on. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, Jacob's stop. not listening. Stop. It's party time, Stay right Emma. there. <sighs> oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops! Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops! What are. Butter He's like, pops? You know what he reminds me of? No! What? He reminds me of a golden retriever. I can't believe it! Um, okay. Um. <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter butter pops! <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth! Pop! Oh my god, they're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait, is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're gonna love them. Right. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels, you can... What? Put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. What is it a sex move? <sighs> Are wheelbarrows? <laughs> is it wheelbarrow? Is that it? And he said wheelbarrow. Is that why she asked him? Ah, uh, okay. You know what's funny? When he said wheelbarrow, I thought to myself, I thought it was called a wheelbarrow. <laughs> and then I just let it slide. <laughs> All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. He's giving me a weird vibe. Let's go friendly uh, here. What's it called? The one that you're listening to right now. Do we think uh, Dylan's gay? Bizarre yet bona fide. So like ghosts and stuff. It's like um. Yeah, like the. The weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries. And Could that be it? Discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Is he just being awkward? Boner. Podcasts. Yeah, okay. Boner. 
You're with oh, no, no. no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. Uh, it's always been cool to me. Ryan's been through some shit. He gives me a vibe as if he's traumatized in some way. That's why he goes off and listens to podcasts Can't and stuff like, on his own. Speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it. You guys can do it. It's not working. We're really gonna have to wait. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for um, bears. Bears here. Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> what? Just leave it alone. Just leave it yes, alone. thank you, Ryan. Someone with a bit of... Oh. I hate both of these. What if bears crash the party? What if we need it? I, I hate these. Uh, we're gonna go with... Um... Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, think about it. It's camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. What if, what if okay, bear with me here. What if what's on the menu tonight <laughs> is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah, not going to happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is, if we need it. Your call, man. Sonny, it's okay. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, yeah, but you're a little weird, um, Ryan. <laughs> they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. So is Ryan. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number, I wanna try it out. Why? Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date, uh... Mmm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode. Okay. Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird, I thought I heard someone. Mm. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. What's your problem with Ryan? He's just introverted. What? <laughs> I don't have a problem with Ryan. Oh, fuck. I thought it was something else. <laughs> you get mad at me because I called them weird? <laughs> the guy called the guys on the photo weird. I'm on the wrong side. Ooh. Hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> well, I thought he'd know about that too. Uh. <laughs> I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Sorry, Sonny's going crazy. I think someone's at the door.
Uh-huh. Why? Secret. So he just That's mentioned the two guys from the intro who funny. went Probably missing. Just goes to the basement or something. Open <laughs> It's a bunch all of right, melons, well, like of all darkness. like used with so, holes in them and like rotting and. Climb down, <laughs> take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it. You climb down. <sighs> yeah, let's climb down. I don't think anything's gonna happen yet. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's a bunch nothing. of melons. Oh, <laughs> it's just a shot. I had of you just go in there for a second. <laughs> filled with them. No. <laughs> just <laughs> maybe. Just shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so. Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Ah, oh, come on. That's the consequence. Hours later, someone's going to break that as they're climbing up the ladder and die because of it. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joy ride. Or is it good? I know it's loose, and so I'll skip it when I'm climbing. Ringy dingy ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Got to take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I- you're absolutely right, he does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Come on, Dylan. No, wait, Ryan. Oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Let's look at it. Why didn't they show up? Okay. What's this? Oh. Yo, leave the gun alone, man. You got it, boss. Dylan, what the fuck, man? I'm sorry. I just really, really want to know what it feels like to hold it. Um, I told you to leave it alone twice. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Cut it out. Ah, oh, he just looks at it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Have I tried this? Yo, my guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Okay, I'll get him. I catch. <laughs> You're using that wrong. Oh. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't. Dude, what 
what's he up to? Uh, Ryan? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like, uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Good point. Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. No way they made yeah, David Arquette a creep. Is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't man. disagree with you, but... It, it's It's gotta be something juicy. That'd be interesting in casting. Here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. All of these guys, the I, two creeps in the woods, the secret layer. Mr. H, Have fun. they're hey, all... He just admitted that it's a secret lair. Whatever, it's, you know, protecting these ghosts or circus freaks or something. Unless that's too obvious and they've made it that obvious. Okay, these are boring. Because the truth is they are bad and David Arquette is a creep. The double twist? <sighs> Could they? Huh. Oh, letters. They're looking for Max and Laura. Meaning, they never showed back home either. Now, why would Mr. H go through the trouble of hiding those letters in here? He knows they were killed by a freak. And, uh, the sheriff, man. Anything more? Oh yeah, he has a mic! What's the mic for? He streams! Take it, for the party. Just take his stuff. He's the podcast that Ryan listens to? I like that theory. That'd be funny. He's the one hosting it about the hatchet tag or whatever it was called. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Yeah, I mean, I saw ibuprofen and paracetamol. There's nothing... Painkillers, toothpaste... Heart medicine... I think I'm good. I've checked the guitar. Just making sure I'm not missing any fucking tarot cards. Yeah, I'm good.
Nice. Full up. And they're not called tarot cards? Hey, Dunzo. Alright, cool, let's go. Thank you. T is silent. It is? Tarot cards. Huh. You missed the tools, Tio. Did I actually miss something? A lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. I thought all of them glow. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all Nick. the way out of the way. Real pretty yeah, well, boy, this guy. Shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? These guys are too dreamy for me. <laughs> Uh, let's go to Rocky Road. Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. You're like burning or whatever. <laughs> Think we've got enough? Uh... Not yet. They're kind of cute. I'll admit they're kind of cute. Danger, falling rocks. sure this is safe what are you scared no are you no bro what you should be there's a reason the sign is up be fucking careful what god people are such why are they so playful about it <laughs> here we go We're about to get knocked the fuck out Do I have the option to not do this? Let's be sensible. Come on. We're leaving. Come on! Can I just be the smart guy? <laughs> and just go? Does this work? I guess we're done. Does that work? Okay. Is this safer because it's less rocky? Oh. Oh. Dude, that's a tough one to find. Well, if I just kept going right, I wouldn't have found it. To be the hangman is to surrender, by doing so gain a new perspective. Look carefully and consider that sometimes. One needs to be strung up in order to let go. Kinda like when I sacrificed Emily in Until Dawn. Yeah, I missed one last mission. So 
So you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean like Who the assumes future. that. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> All the time. It's so overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to like let it happen, you know? What? Kiss. Like whatever happens is what was meant to happen. He's awkwardly insinuating. Like it's all predetermined. Yeah. Fate. Yes. What? I'm not sure what we're... fate. I wouldn't call it that exactly. I wouldn't call it that exactly. A predetermined future. Maybe the direction stays the same, but the details change. Okay, you're losing like, me. It changes as you go. You're still in control of your own... Fate? Yeah. I don't know. Seems a little defeatist. No, I see. This way I can do whatever I want and not feel bad about it. Within reason. Okay, maybe don't kiss Guess now. Guess that is a little freeing? In a sociopathic kind of way. <laughs> Okay, we keep going. How old are we meant to be? Why am I getting Alex Dumphy vibes? It's the same actor. Dude, this game has a long build-up. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. Okay, guys. I'm saying it now. My... Any conversation just... choice I get... Wow. I'm trying... To get them to hook up. He's thinking about it. He's like, how do I... How do I propose a romantic kiss? Oh! Is it a... No, okay. Uh... Playful. Do me. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps it's... Do me. Like, okay, yeah. Sincere. You're really good. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go with... Ooh, what would I do here? If I want to kiss her... Do me. Ooh. Do me. Oh, no, that's not what I... Oh. oh. Sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to get this down. <sighs> right. Sorry. Dumb idea. Hey, yeah! Finish this. Take your time. Okay, and that's it. <laughs> Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. He kind of looks like Ezra. What's his name? Oh. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, it's Mr. Listen, H. There's something Miller, there. yeah. Oh, look! It's so tiny. A spear is gonna come in and kill it. God, One of the hunters. Uh, hold on. Hold on. No, that's bad. These things are. Yeah, save her. <laughs> what do you mean? What the hell? That's good. You're in danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? 
Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger is past, run. Pick the okay. right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Oh? Exhaling or running at the wrong time. Do I have to time it? Quarry, causing serious consequences. Well, shit. Running out of air. Now? Jeez. <laughs> oh, Pull laugh, those things are dangerous. That was close. They almost just mow me to death. Imagine the story. At least we get for a good story me. to tell a pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? Mm, I got a pretty good look. Ew. Yeah. I think she was coming on to me. Oh, got yourself a little girlfriend. Well, she wasn't that little. <laughs> The music, it goes back to romance. Go <laughs> Here we go, it's kiss time. Head back. Or? No, okay, they just walk off. All right. Hey, I think I fucked it by going do me. Now we're Caitlyn. I don't... Hack is Quarry Campfire Pit. Okay, cool. We're preparing the party. I have to go poo-poo, actually. So... I'll be right back, guys. I won't be long. But I'll leave you with some music. Here you go. Yeah, I'll make tea as well. You got music? Yeah. I'll be right back. Turn it up for you as well. It's quite quiet.
Hey guys, sorry, I was making tea. <laughs> and my sister called me. How do I do that? And that. There we go. Ah, Lucid, just the three. Three dollars. That's my first ever donation on Twitch. Just wanted to somehow say thank you for all the years I've been enjoying your content. You're a legend. Thank you for the, from the bottom of my heart. Much love, man. Hey, did Catalyst, uh, let me read what you said earlier. Uh, what did you say? I have four hernias and one of this is crippling me today. Can I send one your way to get rid of this pain, please? Four hernias? You just need to water it once a week and make sure it gets lots of sun. Take it on the chin. That's how you win. Another friendly T.O. catchphrase. That I, Tio, always say. <laughs> His subs are always really funny, man. Uh, thank you so much for the support, guys. Thank you again, Lucid, for your first ever donation, man. Uh, lots of subs coming in. HPDV, Elite Cassie, Maker, Ninja Gaming, Sunny Plays. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Edgy White Dabs. Welcome. Why did Alex call you? Oh, the sister thing? <laughs> cool, what do you guys think of the game so far? I'm really liking it. It's got a little bit of a to touch, very slow burn so far, but I, I reckon it, I'm, I'm hope, like I think it also like, it sets a really good, um, you get to know the characters, right? I think if it was bad dialogue, it would be shit. But the dialogue's really good, and therefore I don't really mind. I don't really mind the slow uh, build up. Uh, it's very entertaining, um... Blah, 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 you know, what I just said. Talk. I'm simple. What's the word? I've completely forgotten the word. Dialogue. That's what I was trying to say. Hey, Mao, thanks for stopping. Welcome. Twitch Prime! You know, I always forget to use my Twitch Prime. I used it the other day, and I think that's the first time I used it in, like, a year. The thing is so hidden. I... I'm not very good with that. It makes me impressed when others keep up with it with resubs and stuff. <laughs> I fucking baited you guys. Look at these coming rolling in. Everyone's checking. Tier 1 streamer right here. Tier 1. To whom did you use it? Um, Katie, I think. I took the bait, not sorry. Neither am I. Neither am I. Thanks for the prime subs. Invictus, Tutti Frutti, welcome. Shannon Nicole. Thanks for the resub. Oh yeah, top 400 streamer right here. I didn't get here on my back, if you know what I mean. I put in the work. Is that this, on my back? Is that saying? It sounds a little wrong. Like I didn't get here not doing work. On my back. Um, quick recap. Okay, yeah, sure. So, we're counselors at a summer camp, and a um, few relationships going on here and there. We've de uh, Jacob has deliberately fucked up the car, so we have to stay another night. The, the kids have gone home, we were going to go, but he fucked up the car to stay another li uh, night so that Jacob could try to hook up again, because she broke up with him, with Emma, who's right here in front of us. Caitlin, who's right here in front of us. No, no, it's Emma. This isn't, yeah, this is Caitlin. Never mind her. With Emma. So we're here for one last night. We're going to have a party. Mr. H, the boss man of the whole camp, he um, he wanted us to leave. And he's really suspicious about it. And he's panicky. And he told us to stay inside. We're saying, fuck it. We're going to party. So that's what we're going to do now. There's a couple of hunters who had like blood on them and stuff who have come to the camp. And they're looking really suspicious. We haven't seen them yet. And that's pretty much it. There's a few more details here and there. But that's the gist of it. This is Caitlyn. Caitlyn's cool. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Oh shit, okay. Uh... You know what my Samsung phone has, which a lot of modern phones have, the multiple lens? I really like that, to be, because here I would widen it. There's like a lens that makes extra wide, 
That way you could get, like, from here to here. I really like that. It's a, it's actually such a nice feature. Um, God, I have to choose. Well, that's awful. We're gonna do... that. I thought it was a gimmick at first hey, when I saw it, Guess but what? I've used it so much. Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He He's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. He'll probably just keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. It was so, hidden uh, in his... What's going on here? It's like a Are hidden door. In his closet. Uh... Oh, there's a weird light in the treehouse? I did not I notice did that. I see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... Uh -huh. Alright, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood! <laughs> We've already done that joke. Huh. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Uh, are you sure you guys are okay? Nobody got gored? We're okay. It wasn't a bullfight or anything. Though I think Nick did make a new girlfriend. Oh, do tell. Wow. Oh. Special delivery. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come Where, from? Dude, what? thank you. It's not even real. Uh, well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. Oh, I love and, Caitlyn. And Caitlyn's gonna live. A hand -pick selection I'm keeping Caitlyn alive. Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. I like pop, her style. Pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. I didn't even know you could still find these in. I'm kind of like average. I, I could take it or leave it with these two at this point. I've spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to huh. shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Oh, come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me. Old fashioned shootout. First prize. Okay, if it's a shooting butter, butter, butter range, pops, it's okay. All to yourself. Dude. Caitlin, we can allow really it. Want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Uh, I kinda wanna okay, go. <laughs> we're trying to get a party started here, I wanna Jacob. go practice. Well, the main party's not gonna die just cause you're off on a little side quest. Come on! Please. Alright. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but... If I see either... Oh, we're just, like, around, improvising? Bring this car around. <laughs> oh! Uh. We'll be good. I love that she reloaded it as she's just like taking it from them. Okay, so just so you know, I was an expert marksman, third class 
three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually- Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes, got it? Ah, oh, Caitlin, man. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. <sighs> All right, so She's a smart one in a horror movie. Pencil, boss, like I'm always hot, pencil dick. Yeah, okay, thank you, bye, bye. Pencil dick. <laughs> so, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? It was, it was okay. Hey, had a boy. So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. What did I look? No sweat. Okay. We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. Oh, she's this a beast. Is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obvs. I won't need a combat tutorial on this one. I've got this. If there's one thing I got, it's this. Wait, which one am I shooting? All right, Nick. One point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank what? You I get a point from far away and he gets to... All right, Nick. Okay, now it's, it's for, real. for real. Got it. Wait. I don't understand. Why'd she set up bottles if I'm... Nice shot. Lucky. Do the point do the bottles give points? Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. Is it not right. a pump? You might want to uh, avert your pump? eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. I'm going to have them tie. All right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. oh. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Oh! You know, oh! Dude, blaster. that is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Ooh, what's that, Jakey, huh? Huh? Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter. <laughs> hey, I get it, I get it. Blam, we thought this was over? What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Nice. I like Caitlyn, man. Tell me she's sitting there with a uh, butter pops or whatever. Peanut butter pops.
Are we meant to be hearing dialogue right now? Oh. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Come on, people. We might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. Mm. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, okay. or buts. What makes so it like Dylan style? Truth or dare? It's gay. Yes. <laughs> so we can like make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah, as long as everyone consents of course. that's good that's a good addition cool beans i mean keep that's it cool your beans it's your turn but well who does get to go first well it's house deals so abigail truth or dare um truth you really dodged a bullet huh all right here goes have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, uh, I... God, really put her on the spot. I'm gonna interrupt. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, I finally understand that I'm like, okay, so I'm Ryan for the whole chapter, the way it said your interruption and stuff. I guess. Yeah. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, or maybe not. Oh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, oh, I don't know. Ugh, oh, ding ding ding, too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Dare. Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean... I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Hold up. No, hold up. Quick question. In the intro, Caitlin was talking about having a crush on someone. Was that Ryan? Does anyone remember this? I swear it was, right? Caitlin fancies Ryan as well, yeah. <sighs> I kinda, as much as I like Caitlin, she can handle this. I kinda ship Dylan and Ryan. Dylan, let's go. <laughs> Always happy to please. Woo! Oh, Caitlin. Sorry. All righty. Who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten their turn yet. Good point. Caitlin. Caitlin. I dare you to what kiss you me. <laughs> truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. Ooh. Nah, I'm gonna go interested. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, that's kind of a boring question. Okay, fine, answer. man. Well, the answer is, I don't know. That's the truth. Sorry. So, guess it's my turn. Nope. What? I smell bullshit. Okay, fine. You got me. I 
wanted to be a street performer. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> no way. Well, um, <laughs> a street performer? You mean like, um, like... No, asshole. Like a mime or, you know, one of those statue guys that move when you give them a dollar. Oh. I thought you meant like a break a dancer. Yeah, no, I just can't imagine that. Thanks, Ryan. Well played. Now it's my turn. Emma. There. Oh. Emma, so you have to kiss... Me. Jacob? Or... You like it better with my lips. Nick. Uh. <laughs> Nick? Well, then. Cause a little bit of jealousy. Um, uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose She's Nick. Gonna... Oh! Emma! Oi, oi, oh, she's gonna go all in as well. Em? Seriously? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. <laughs> He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? What the fuck? Jacob! This is just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Uh, Jacob, you gotta calm down, Jacob, a little man. Grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play part cheesy? What? And you know, I like Caitlyn. She's handled everything very well. I like her a lot. The devil's gonna come when the sun goes what, the right there? Uh, the gonna come fuck when the this. Voila! Thanks for the five gifted subs! Much appreciated, man. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough. Jesus Thompson, did you know George Lucas wanted to have Darth Maul's name be Darth Ballin, but he felt it would be too radical for the youths of the time? <laughs> um, Andy for the win with the 300 bits. Loving the gameplay, Teo. Took my student in today. Any suggestions to begin my adult life? Uh, don't stress, you got the, all the time in the world. My first year? I stayed at home and just played games and tried to do YouTube after I graduated, you know. I'm not saying you should do that, but just, like, take your time. You don't have to begin uni or whatever right away. Do whatever. I'm honestly a little nervous. I'm really unsure where to start. Any tips? Yeah, that, that's my tip. Don't be nervous. Just uh, take it a little easy is what I'd say. Um, but obviously, don't get too lazy. <laughs> Keep a bit of a balance, I guess. Congrats on graduating. Uh, ya boy with the 1,000 bits. Yeah, boy, get that stuff. First stream of yours I've been able to join. How are you liking the game so far? Really liking it. Things are starting to get to places now. I'm excited. Thanks for the 1,000 bits, man. Thank you, everyone, um, for the love. Welcome to all the newcomers. Morgan's Wolf, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day yourself. Thanks for the 56 months. Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then... What more has been found? Now the question is, do I want to get the premonition or not? The hanged man. <laughs> what do we think, chat? To be the hanged man is to surrender. And by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to... It's like the totems, go. right? But these are just words. There's more to show you, if you'll let me. Oh, 
I think so. Because sometimes those kind of options are kind of bullshit, like you had no idea of knowing. I think this is part of the game. Because I have to find the cards in order to see them. Okay. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. Okay. I'll see you again, you can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Hmm. That kind of looked like Jacob, I want to say. I want to have a look at it again. Can I do that? I think I can. Chapter... Two. What? Oh, so this is chapter three. Yeah. Uh, Tarrant. Who is that? Guys, who is that? We don't know this guy, right? I can't really tell who it is. Anyway, somebody's topless with some shorts on. If it's Jacob, why does he have back slick hair suddenly? I guess he's, we've been seeing him with a cap on, haven't we? <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so... To be the hanged man is to surrender, and by doing so, gain a new perspective. Look carefully and consider that sometimes. One needs to be strung up in order to be let go. So we want to be hung up and not fight it. Okay, what happens here is we get caught in a trap. We're up against the hunter. And instead of fighting, we let ourselves get caught in the trap. We think he's going to kill us. But I'm pretty sure that's him cutting the rope to let us go. And then I think... Do we hit him? Hmm... Yeah, okay. Good to know. Abigail Hackett Woods. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anybody can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Great. Where the hell am I? Mmm, tea. Oh my god. Is there sex in this game? I don't know. Probably. What's that sound? Was that a camera? Okay, that's for the next one. Ah, I missed one. Or? But there's one per chapter. That's weird. Okay. Well, we'll see that on the next one. Whatever. I came from there. I walked that way. Where did I come from here? <gasps> Oh, 
Bro, say something. Yes. Nick! Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! I'm coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. Guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What, what? Abigail, you moron? No, 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 no way. <laughs> she was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just playing along. <laughs> You seem to enjoy playing along. Ah, uh, oh. well, I, I mean, enjoyed helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's he, he could enjoy the kiss. That doesn't mean that he's like in love with her. <gasps> kiss, kiss. We did it. We did it, guys. <laughs> Nick is falling for you. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Should we look? Mm-hmm. What? Turn up the brightness maybe a little bit. What do you guys think? Is it another boar? It's too growly. Is it a bear? I'm gonna have to just fast. Just a touch. What the fuck, Nick? He's so far before Abigail even s Oh shit! Help Nick. I'm helping Nick! Ah Abigail, you Okay. She runs. Okay. All right, see you later, Nick. Uh, we are going to hide. We're going to hide. I don't remember how to hold my breath. What was the button for holding your breath? Oh, this was a bad idea. We should have run. Okay, we're gonna run. <laughs> oh. You gotta, Abigail. You gotta be a little more athletic here. Oh, yeah, climb the tree. No? Yeah? Climb tree? Yeah, alright. 
know, he looks kind of like a climber. I'm not... Mm. Oh my god. Oh, I meant to tap it fast. I did not register that. Oh, he's climbing! He's climbing, Abigail! Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. Okay, what's the next plan? What are we gonna attempt now? Oh, we're trying hiding again. Okay. Yeah, we just kind of sit on the spot. That was relatively easy. We're okay. Okay! <sighs> Where's brightness? Display? Just gonna turn it up a little bit. I think that's a little better. It's a fun game. I never wanted starfire. Are you crying, Jacob? Oh, buddy. Oh. He sat here on his own crying. And it's cutting me so deep. Does he actually have tears in the menu? Oh no, Jacob. We're going to think about that sound or? No, okay. It's just the wilderness. feels a little too bright now. Let me take it down to like 55. Yeah, nice. Balance. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yes, oh, they're matching. Of course. Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you just, I can't believe you, the, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. Friends are we <laughs> No, but Nick is. Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sourpuss, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No. Nothing. Never mind. Listen, it's nothing, Emma. Fine. I staged you this whole thing. You can stand here sulking. I fucked up the car. Driving yourself crazy, imagining to seduce you. tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, <gasps> come on. Sure. We're gonna swim. You can go grab us some towels. Oh, she's fucking what with you your head. What do you need towels for? Well, 
and like a lost puppy. Summer fun, right? He turns. He hears a treat. Summer is not quite over. Okay. (laughs) Just like that, he turns around. What? Oh shit, okay. Alright. Jacob, you sly dog, you did it again. Ooh, turret. Star. Well, it's a star. Stars in the night sky. Be- beacons of light. Dreams of hope. Purpose. A reminder. Of insignificant fear. Despair. Hmm. Cool. Well, we'll know about these for the next chapter. Huh. It's not long ago. Wonder if it was near here. What does that say? Four months on, hikers still missing. Search continues for Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Dude, that's Edward in the water. That's the same jacket. Despite multiple searches, blah blah blah, they're unable to find. Though a small number of conspiratorialists. Conspiratorialist? Is that a thing? Uh, A small number of conspiratorialists suggest their disappearance could be some sort of government cover-up. Most speculate that they fell victim to an animal attack, possibly a bear or cougar. Local wildlife expert Helen Pratt is certain this isn't the case, as there are too many inconsistencies when compared with the history of documented attacks. Oh, it doesn't happen often. Though it does, doesn't happen often. When a bear does attack a human, there are usually quite obvious signs left behind. Blood, blah, 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 blah. It's far more likely that Benson records were washed into fast-moving rapids. Hmm. They remain hopeful that Anne and Edward are still alive and well, and urge anyone who may have seen them to reach out. Alright, if I was a towel, where would I be? Oh yeah, we found some camping gear as well, didn't we? With, um... Blood on it. Hmm. What are these numbers? Okay, so it's dates. Manageable but unsustainable. Sailing rules. Be vigilant, no swimming. So it's dates, yeah. Manageable but unsustainable. Okay. Alright, we're about to have a chase scene, because I'm about to be without clothes. It's like that totem showed. What the fuck? Why is it going around like a Scooby-Doo monster? Someone up there. It's going like this. Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Like it was, it was doing this, you know? The, the classic. You guys saw that, right? God, what a throwback. There's 
no towels. None? There's exactly zero. You dick. God, what the hell? I really want to go swimming. Like, I really... Oh! <sighs> okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry or... You, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. <gasps> oh, but I can, because... You see, oh, help! I'm drowning and I I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cat Woo! Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Fuck it, it's the last night, chat. Let's enjoy it. Hurricane Jake. <laughs> you gotta learn to let things go. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Have a bit of a party. Hey, we can all go rich. home happy. Oh, stop being a rock. Splasher! Uh, attack! Uh, hey. <gasps> oh. oh, God. Dick move. <laughs> Take a photo of me. Look. Check this out. Uh. Okay. It's those splashes, though. Take a picture of me. Uh. Uh. Yeah, for your, like, um... Little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Oh, so I get nine more? What? <gasps> oh, I don't like this shot. What's happening? What? I don't understand what just happened. <laughs> Going to. We're gonna dive in. Jacob? Ugh, Dick. I figure we want to see this body. Oh, I'm really nervous. Grab it. Go for it, man. You got this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice work. And now we're gonna go up. That's it. You're fine. It's just a body. It's just a dead body. That's fine. 
You can get out of that. Detangle it, nice and calm. Nice and calm. Okay, great. And pull up. Nice work. Oh my god. Whew. Emma? Shit. Do we still play as him? I'm waiting for that other scene. No? We're d okay. We're done. No, I figured that was good, because we want to have an escape, right? We need it for the car. I think it was huge that I picked that up. There, Kaylin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer... Hey, don't let that cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? A menage a trois. Yeah? Just the three of us? Here we go. This is how it All starts. Right, Dylan. Truth or... Oh, no, never mind. I, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Bro, what are you... What's he doing? Why is he just Abby! stood there? Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Uh... What happened? Hey! What happened? Abby, what happened? Brian! We gotta know what... She needs help. Give her a second. Go after Nick! Go! You should do it. You're very maybe, good with the gun. Maybe you should go. No, 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 no. I gotta help Abby. Go! He no, you're too. good with the gun. Go! But we're losing respect. That it makes more sense that you go, Caitlin. Be careful. You give it to him. What is this? He doesn't even know what... He doesn't know anything! He doesn't know what he's running into! He's just running blind! What?! Uh... We're gonna take the shortcut. High risk, but high reward. I can do this. Okay. Easy. Is this gonna be up, up, up? Oh, maybe a sidestep? Whoa! And then? What's this? What the fuck? Uh. Take the shortcut. You got this, man. You got this. No problem. Surely the bridge would have been faster. We're really learning how to run upstairs. Okay. You don't know where- do you even know- okay, yeah, we made it. No, no, behind you, behind you, behind you. Shout. No, don't shout, don't shout. Behind you, buddy. Behind you. Stop, stop! I'll shoot. 
Behind you. Turn. No, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Trust. It's behind you. Are you the bad guy? Now I'm unsure. Should I have shot? Oh, nice bite. What the fuck? He's the bad guy. Oh. Oh, now I I I thought I had these guys pinned. I don't know. I don't know who these guys are now. What? Holy shit, dude. Gotta get. Gotta get. We gotta go. Good walk. Can. Come on, gotta go. Come on, let's get back to the fire. Yeah, interesting. He shot his finger off that he bit. It's probably an infection thing. It's, I mean, I don't know why else he'd shoot his finger off. That's very interesting. Stupid, stupid. Oh, here we go, here we go. Tom Holland? Fuck. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> okay, let's read it real quick. We're just gonna- we're not gonna rewatch it, I'm just gonna read it. The Hanged Man. To be the Hanged Man is to surrender. And by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes. One needs to be strung up in order to let go. There's a half-naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Why are we running? Here we go. Okay, if I get the choice here... Are you gonna call out? No. I'm not gonna call out. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. And that's okay. One must allow themselves to be strung up to then fix it. Am I not meant? Oh, Shit. now I'm unsure. Okay. Yeah. And here he comes. Fuck. Don't fight. Let him help you. He's gonna help you. Let me down. Oh, please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just, don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? This is okay. There we go. Nice. Son of a bitch. Doing? Shh. Quiet. No, I'm not gonna do it. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. It means they can't see us. Now, girly. It means we're invisible to the, um, to the monsters. What the fuck? I'm making a lot of assumptions here. <laughs> it's to hide our scent. <laughs> That's- I swear, man. Cause they had it- when we first saw him, he was covered in that shit.
Seems like just a blink, on it. and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Tell me about the nude lady. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes truth. Follow the light kind of thing. The tower. Jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight? That's the question we all ask ourselves. But often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. A lot of riddles here. Would you like me to show you? Yes, good, but I can only delve deeper into one possible future. Ooh, so which I is like it? that. Choose. Ooh, I like that a lot. The left one, I think I've figured out. Follow the stars, follow the light kind of thing. I'm going to do the tower. Okay. Okay. Back to it then. What? Back to Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. No, okay, wait, no, hold on, hold on. Okay, so the first tarot they showed me was what can happen if I do the fuel. We get a fire. The second one they showed me said, you know, allow yourself to be hanged. Maybe there's a new perspective there. It's not as bad as you think. You know, and so I did that. But in the, in the tarot, in the vision, he throws dirt. Which I don't believe I'm meant to do. So does it kind of, you know, it doesn't necessarily show me what only to do, but also what not to do. And then this one, she's up there trapped by a monster. She goes for the leap, misses, and crushes her neck. Jump free of your troubles, fight or flight. That's a question we all ask ourselves. But often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step, it could be your last. The one thing I'm a little unsure of in this is, is it telling me 100% to fight? Because if I go for the flight and jump for it, I'm gonna die? Or it could just be telling me, be careful on this moment. Because when you jump, if you miss the quick time event, there's no going back, you're dead. That's what I think it's saying. It's not saying don't jump. It's just saying that specific quick time event, if you do jump, you're gone. So it's an important one. I think it's telling me, fight or flight, you choose. But if you do flight, don't fuck it up. That's what it's telling me. Okay. Often when leaping out of day, we're still faced. Yeah, and what will I choose? Torda did say any choices is good, but one is. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I get to choose. I think it's saying the zipline sucks. I don't think so. It's just warning me, saying if you go for the zipline, Tio, make sure you nail the quick time event. That's what I think it's saying. These games are always like that. They wouldn't just say... Because, because you want to know why? 
Because if I chose the star here, I wouldn't get to see this, right? There's 100% going to be a quick time event that I have to fuck up in order to die. It's not just going to be, oh, I'm going to jump for it. Oh, that means death. Like, they always give you the chance to clear it. Uh, so if I wouldn't have seen this, I that would have been bullshit, a bullshit way to die. So there's definitely going to be a quick time event there that I have to nail. Well, the star, the star, stars in the night sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair. What does that mean? Huh? So we see the light. Is it good or could it be a reminder of our insignificance? Perhaps it's going to be a firework, and that's a reminder. Hmm. Trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity and sometimes proof. What could the light be? I'm curious what that one's going to be. Anything that's going to be shining, I'm 100% going to go for it. I don't like the wording of certain peril, though. Certain peril. But often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Yeah, but it's often. Hmm. Oh. Well, uh, it's a, ooh, it's a tough one. I like these tarots. They're very ambiguous. They're very ambiguous. That's where we're going to be up there. I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there, was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Okay. Slow, 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 slow. Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. Where's Happy? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? God, hold on, I'm just, uh, give me a second. I can't decide whether I'm going to leap for the, <laughs> for the thing or not. I really need to think about this for a second, hold on. Ah. Ah. <laughs> like on one hand, if I make that, and it is a quick time event, and I jump off it, and I make it, I'm out of there. But if I fuck it up and die, I'm gonna be so pissed that I didn't stay to fight. But fighting might be equally as difficult. <sighs> I'll know in the moment. I'll know in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Abby? Yeah, Nick, you alright, man? She's okay, dude. She's right over there. Oh, because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, fuck. shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's, it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. No. Ryan. We should amputate. Yeah. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. I agree. Why? Why would we do that? I don't know. He knows. Look at that black stuff. Yeah. What, what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? 
remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. I know how to use it. Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Uh. No, no. I bet you it's Jacob. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Wait, That's a person. No, 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 no. Don't yeah. shoot, don't shoot. <sighs> I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. <clears throat> in the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. Uh, what happened to you? So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so. Like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running. Like as fast as I could. From the lake. Yeah, and then and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like I don't know, like a like a booby trap, like some sort of hunter's trap. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop. So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge. Like, right now. What about the shit he put uh, on you? hard agree. Also, why are you covered in... Yeah. ...what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um... I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with, like, um... He had, like, a bottle... ...thing. I don't know, dude. It's, like, a really long story. Ew. <laughs> yeah. What? No, super fucked up. <laughs> Oh, it, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. <laughs> like, I love what? this. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, one of the one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team got lost <laughs> on the way to practice, and it was... Yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real, I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell because it was, like, all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. Where's Emma? I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... No. He's terrible with guns. What? Yeah. Oh. Fucking stop! We're we we love Caitlyn. Guy. You're acting like pricks. We Nick love Caitlyn. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Brian. Sorry. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. But yeah, I have an idea.
Okay, let's see what tonight brings. What the fuck, Emma? Where? What is going on? Okay, here's a riddle for you. Emma? The poet's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Follow the light, the moon. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what, sorry, I'm bending. Oh, explore bending. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, Slash. Explorers. Thanks for the resub, buddy. The game's really good. You should play it. Chat, keep in mind that she doesn't know that shit's going down. No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay. We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Yeah. Okay. Hmm, I haven't found any cards. This might be the mission where I find more cards. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. Okay, instead of going this up, island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. He's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by means of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Can I? Ah, oh, what the hell. We're in it now, anyway. Well, and okay. In the thick of I didn't actually Did mean to else? choose this. I was just gonna I was really look a little. excited for the next part okay. of my life, okay. you know. I mean, the summer was great, great. but what's next? I mean, come great. on. I know. By the time I post Can you this, turn around? Happy story will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada yada yada. Uh, if I you guess, die because of that, I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know. Oh my God. Okay, turn around, Daddy go up the stairs. Me as this confident person, but really, I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Come on. 
Um, unless there's a card down there. There might Maybe be a we'll card. Just take a look at this. Hold way. on, hold on, hold on. They like having cards in these kind of spots. Nah, okay, now that looks too. Hmm. Now we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up. We're gonna go up. Because of the moon. Because of the moon. Look how perfectly positioned that is. Also, earlier we saw a light. Wasn't this where we saw the light up here? Follow the light. That's what we're doing. Although, of course, we know that this leads to a fight as well. So it's like, it's kind of like a... Either way, I think something bad happens. Um... This is a nice vlogging spot. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, Emma, we gotta get there. You and gotta do some stretches. To talk about. You gotta stretch. Uh, let's talk about Abby. You've you've bitched Abby's enough about okay. Jacob for this vlog. She ran off earlier. If you let's get some sympathy it, votes and I show that you're kind of sort of made out with Nick. Compassionate. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and uh, for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. The poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool though, they're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. Okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, I guess we would have ended up here anyway, through the ladder. Interesting. It's really well done. I really like this. The way she stops and vlogs every now and then and stuff, it's a nice touch. Instead of her just like narrating to herself, you know? No, hold on. Let's look over here. Can I not? Oh look. Car keys. Police car keys. I think this might be one of those, I'm sorry officer, I've no idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave those right there. And here we are, as promised. One Is she not at all nervous like after getting a photo of someone up there? Or no, it was the light that she saw. In another world, perhaps we saw someone up Jacob there. and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well, she's now, totally do the, doing doing this How do you do? to not be scared. It's like when I play horror games. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And oh look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. But. I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. We're gonna search the bag. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Hmm. 
Ooh. Up what? until now, I was gonna jump. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. Interesting. Goodbye, cool what if it world. bites me? The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh shit. Taser. Take photo. Here we fucking go! Come on, Emma! Oh, it's below you. It's below you. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, 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 Okay. You're fine? Spray, 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 spray. Run. Watch out. Hop it. Beautiful. What's next? Oh, loose. No! Okay. Careful, Emma. Uh, block door. Oh, shit. Bear spray. Okay. Okay, nice work, actually. Really nice work. We're gonna climb. Careful, careful! It's gonna leap for you! Nice. Oh my god, it's tongue! That's disgusting! Oh! Nice work! Uh-oh. Okay. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food <laughs> inside, okay? Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can Whew, that horse. was good. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? I watched the clip in a while. Yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> oh, a card. Strength. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something neat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Dude, this guy is you on to things. Attack them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something. What? I don't know. Like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's going to track them down? I, I doubt it. Bye, Jasper. Thank you. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. Hold up, Dylan. Are you saying you guys are going to abandon them? them? Out in the woods is going to get into the lodge. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're probably right. <sighs> Come on. Let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session. What? No. Did you? A couple times. Yeah. Where are you going? I... 
I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. You know what this reminds me of? A lot of these tropes remind me of... I keep thinking of... Um, um, the House, that movie. What the fuck is it called? Can we do a bathroom break? Yeah, sure. Oh, and I'll, I'll have it pause for a minute or two. Um, Cabin in the Woods. With the... I love the high guy in Cabin in the Woods. And they like, uh, they'll, you know, they'll hear, he'll hear his name called and he's like, nope, nope, not going to follow that, you know. And um, when they're like, uh, okay, let's, if we all stay calm, I think we could get through this. We, we just need to make the right decisions. He's like, yeah, yeah, definitely. The guy goes like, okay, we should split up. <laughs> you know, and he's like. What? <laughs> I fucking I love that guy. I love that high guy. Yeah, the baked guy. <laughs> um Yeah, send me the clip. I'll have a look. Did I miss someone? What movie? Cabin in the Woods. This isn't live. The choice is up to me. Oh, yeah, that's a person. Guess since this isn't live. Right there. The choice is up to me. So who's that? Maybe one of the hunters? Mr. H? <laughs> I don't know if it's Mr. H. That'd be odd. He w He went off to do something. I think he's a good guy. Is the stream ending now? No, we're doing a bathroom break. Strength. Strength. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power. Tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other hand it could grip away. Ooh, that's a good tarot. Curious about that one. How long? Uh, I am going to finish this chapter, and I think I'm going to end this session on that. Evidence. Bloated corpse. I'm really enjoying the game. I don't want to, I don't want to do, like, most of it today, you know? Bloated decomposing corpse chained to the bottom of the... Yeah, yeah, we know about that. Very close up photo of Emma being attacked at the tree house. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing we got that photo. Will the session be up on Morteo? Yeah. I'll probably try to put it up a little earlier than I usually put them up. I'll probably put it up at noon tomorrow, if uh, if it's uh HD by then. So that some people who want to watch me play tomorrow have time during the day to kinda of watch what they missed, perhaps, if someone just watched half half of today's session or something. I'll try to put it up as soon as it's HD. Jacob didn't distract the hunter. The hunter poured blood over Jacob's face. Ryan heard a rustling in the bushes, but didn't shoot. Ryan raced through the forest in time to see Nick being dragged away by a hunter. Ryan didn't shoot at the hunter. Ryan witnessed the hunter shoot his fingers off. Yeah, that's important, isn't it? Mm, okay. When we stream tomorrow. Um, similar time I started today, most likely. Maybe a little earlier. We'll see. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Yeah, of course, Blondie. That was like a good bathroom break. Nice way to slow things down as well. Uh, you don't think his injuries are as bad as we... We don't know that. Yeah, Dylan's no, smart. Sure, Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know we he could have rabies or something way to be optimistic man i'm just being realistic yeah we gotta call for help who should i call uh mr h he gets the gun the only number i got is to this phone okay then 911 you mean 911 who says 911 i don't know what? Anyway, yeah, but like, what? what should I ask for? Like, police, ambulance, 
Uh, I, uh, no, call the cops. Uh, cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. Yeah. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. What? What just happened? Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops though it's a coincidence no you try the hang up thingy what here what are you doing i don't know it's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead you tap on the little thingy we're not in a movie okay well you know you're in a game you know we're all watching this is what they want you to think man look at the camera okay so this phone's a no-go no one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Oh, that's what that so microphone where, where was. Where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet oh, no, never jams, mind. Okay. yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably rig something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. What? Ryan is in on this. Ryan has been acting weird since the fucking start. When we were uh, looking around in the guy's room, Ryan was always being dismissive. Always. Anything that we found as Dylan, Ryan said, oh, I wouldn't worry about that. No, I'm sure this is fine. Oh, these, he's hunting. Oh, those cameras are nothing. No, he's not a pervert. He's always shooting us down. Always. Fucking gaslighter number one. Always trying to just say, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, that, that's not how it is. That's not how it is. He's all, oh, the, the disease, that, that wound isn't as bad as we think. He's always, Ryan is in on this. Ryan is close to Mr. H. And because of that, Ryan knows things. I'm not saying Ryan's evil, but he knows more than he's letting on. And he's trying to, the way that the phone call just cut out, I'm not saying that Ryan did it. However... The way he's just acting cool about it. Like, it's just a coincidence. I don't know about this guy. So Ryan, Ryan knows something. I'm not with you at all. Really, Alex? I think he knows something. He, he, mm, he knows something. The way he was acting with Mr. H as well, they were very close. I think Mr. H has told him about some of this stuff. Just think he sees Mr. H as a father figure and doesn't want him to think badly of him. But there's more to it, man. It's either that or he's just a moron, man, because he he makes a lot of weird decisions. All of this shit going on, he's got a gun on his back, right? And Dylan goes for the other gun and he goes, put that back. What the fuck is that about? What is that about? Why would he say that? He literally has one gun. What's wrong with having another gun? That to me is red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. Why would he do that? Why would he say don't take the gun? 
He knows something. He knows something. I'm putting the prediction out there. And because of that... Let's see how he reacts if I play this calm. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. If he's normal and not in uh, on it. Okay, just Okay, careful. okay, Ryan. Okay. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. Now I don't know. What weather? Coming with a lot of weird moments. Maybe it was the bears. Bear. Okay, maybe he's just dumb. Why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. Maybe he's just really, really ignorant. Probably tell Caitlin that not even ignorant, but hub, probably freaked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Very much in denial. Oh. Okay. Dude. Oh, God. I am yeah, liking. Yeah. Probably him. leave that with Caitlin. He's battle ready. That's right. Give her your gun. Well, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. Yeah, I'm that's a much right, better Dylan. Shot than you, you don't know that, okay? I might be an amazing shot. I might be. Just give her your gun. I like Dylan. Okay. <sighs> Where are we going? Do we want two guns? So normally I would say that Caitlyn needs the gun, right? Each party should have one gun. Then I'm also wondering if I'm right on this suspicion regarding him. He wants me not to have a gun. He wants Dylan unarmed as they go off here. Why is that? Why is that? Mm. Oh, this is tough. Like on one hand, Caitlyn... Is good with the gun. What? I'm begging you. What? I'm begging you. What's up? You said you wanted Caitlyn to survive. Yeah. Listen, I'm she's begging yeah. You to let go of this stupid theory. I don't know about that, that Alex. I think I'm on to him. Wrong. I think clearly I'm on to him. I'm on to Ryan. I'm begging you. I'm to on let to Caitlyn Ryan. Survive. She's an amazing. Earlier, you even said, "Why don't you give Caitlyn the gun? She's a really good shot." Yeah. And now you're saying. Ah, maybe I, I don't think, give Caitlyn the listen, gun. Listen, I think Ryan might be... You need to, you need to cut this out. Nah, I don't know. I need to think about this. I need to think about this. Ryan is sus, guys. Ryan is up to something. He keeps pushing so many weird things. And now, conveniently, he doesn't want us to ha have a gun when we're going to go off together with him. Hmm... It seems too obvious of a choice. It seems too obvious of a choice to give the gun to Caitlyn. Something about this, man? There's something about this. There's something about this that's a red flag. Something about Ryan, man. If you're wrong and Caitlyn dies, I will never forgive you. Hmm. <laughs> I'm with you on the Ryan thing 100%, don't get me wrong, but yeah, no, I know. Like, I... Listen, I, I do want to give it to Caitlyn, but there's just something about this. Why do they let me choose here? I feel like I'm on to something. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Let's indulge my fantasy. If Ryan was bad, what's what's he really gonna do? What he's gonna hold me at gunpoint? Take me to feed the werewolves? Am I? Is that my, what I'm saying here? Is he evil? No. 
No. No, I don't think so. I don't think it would lead to my death. Just, just, let's just indulge it. What, are, what am I saying here about Ryan? What do I truly think he's going to do? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it to Caitlyn. I'm gonna give it to Caitlyn because something I often do is I overthink things. And I think I'd, I wouldn't be able to sleep tonight if I overthink this one and it leads to Caitlyn dying or any of them in that party because they don't have a gun. Whereas if it leads to Dylan dying, then I get to say I told you so to everybody. So, when I'm looking at the negatives, I'd rather have that. Um, and I need to just not overthink this one. I'm always overthinking things. I'm always over... That's why I'm so bad at puzzles. I always make it harder than it needs to be. So, I'm going to go with my, my normal, logical self. Caitlin's good with guns, so I'm going to give her the gun. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Ryan, if you're somehow in on this, you're doing a really Don't good job. Write at, a check that you're asking cash. At at, My at not showing it. the bank account. That'd be the biggest twist that I somehow was onto. He appreciates my decision because he's gonna fuck me in the ass with his shotgun, man. He's gonna completely betray me. Hi, Caitlin. Take this shotgun. Oh. <laughs> Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. I guess he, get, he let me hold it. Oh, yeah, I was overthinking, perhaps. I was overthinking. Alright, here we go, guys! <sighs> oh, I'm I still don't know. I still don't know. Ah, fuck, man. Um, slowly. <sighs> the turtle wins the race. Speed up. Yes. Oh my god. <sighs> what the fuck does real in mean? I don't know what real in means! Real in! I don't know what that is! What's real in? Is that to keep going? Dodge! Oh, where are. We did it! We. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't have found a better song 
Like, Epidemic Sound, I could spend 10 minutes on Epidemic Sound and find a better song for that moment. <sighs> the reason the music is kind of weird, guys, is because I'm on streamer mode, oh, so it replaces all the music. Good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> At time again, is it? Strength. A lot of the other ones have been pretty good, to be fair. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. I wonder if I missed and another card, then. With one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. Like maybe I'm meant to have choices on all of them. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Okay. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Let's talk about this a little. So I, I considered speeding up from the beginning because I thought like I wanted closer when I go for the jump. But then I was like, okay, well, maybe if I do it slowly, I'll actually get it closer because it won't make sound. But then I panicked when I was like, do you, what did reel in mean? Because I didn't see him actually go, see her go and reel in more. I figure reel in is like reel it in, reel it in closer. Or does anyone know what that means? Ah, okay, Mikey, thanks. I think take a step back and then jump. That's what reel in means? Reel it in. Like tossats in Swedish. Reel in the monster. That doesn't make any sense. Why would... Bait. It means to bait them. Reel the winch to get the zipline closer. You know what? <laughs> I'm seeing a few different ideas of what it actually meant. <laughs> so this kind of proves that maybe it's not the best word in that <laughs> in that moment. <laughs> you know, the fact that I'm seeing like three different definitions in chat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone has their own idea of what it means. Jump. Or reel in. <laughs> no, I thought it meant after. I, I figured it meant reel the line closer, but she didn't. She didn't reel the line closer. Unless it bugged or something. Like all she did was dodge the monster and then she jumped anyway. She did off camera. They cut it. They cut the one decision you made. They're like, now nah, we're not going to show it, though. <laughs> yeah, interesting. The zipline was closer after the QT. Oh, I guess they cut it then, yeah. That's an odd one to cut. I wonder if it glitched. Let me see this again. Okay. Oh, shit. Dude, it's, uh, what's his name? Is it Nick? He's obviously turned. And he's got strength. And he, it's the, it's the hunter. He picks up the hunter. And I think he, yeah, he, he cracks his neck. And then in the background, look in the background. Look right here. Oh, I can't show you. Look in the background on the right. Now. Wait, now. There. She's crawling out through the window. Strength. Strength can be surprising, knowing one's own raw power. 
And it is one's own, because I'm playing as Nick here. Tapping into a previously unknown energy. Yeah, because I'm extra strong. I'm turning into like a werewolf or whatever. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, with the other it could rip away. This is going to be a tough one for me, because I don't know if I want to kill the hunter. So far, I've been kind of acting as if they have it good, like they have good intentions. But on this one, I'm afraid that, that he's going to kill Nick. I guess I'll see in the scene, see how it's going. The lady said to remember who's helping you. Yeah, and she said, um, she said, remember who your friends are. I'm wondering if this hunter now is going to try to kill Nick because he's turning. You know what? I don't think I'm meant to- I think I'm meant to back off. Strength can be surprising, knowing one's own raw power. Saying it can be surprising, I think, is telling me it can surprise me how quickly I kill this guy. I'm not meant to do it. Mm. Ooh, it's a tough one. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Because, um, it doesn't look like he's turned fully in this. And maybe the hunter- there's a way to save Nick, for sure. And this guy's gonna know how. Whereas if I kill him, I think I'm just embracing my infection. That's what I think. Chat, I'm gonna end it there. I'm really enjoying it, but it's almost midnight. I know uh, a lot of Europeans uh, probably don't want to stay up and stuff. I know a lot of you will. But I want to keep it, uh, I want to enjoy this over the weekend. So, I'm gonna end it here. Um, really enjoy, what do you guys think so far? What do you guys think? You know what? For me, personally, it's on par with Until Dawn so far. I think it's really, really good. The um, script, the, the dialogue is perfect. Ah, okay, perfect is a bit. The dialogue is, is really natural and, and solid. Uh, I do think sometimes the characters are a little bit stupid, but that's the same as horror movies, right? Like, you need them to be in order for there to be something to show. Um, and it's the same as a horror movie when they say, let's split up and stuff. Otherwise, nothing's ever going to happen. Uh, I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm, I'm, um, yeah. I wonder if this does well, if they'll, like, drop the whole one game per year dark anthology games and focus more on doing high-budget games. Or they'll keep going with both. The, yeah, the quick time events are a little bit lacking, I think. That's the one thing I will say. I agree with that. Um, and I think I have it the hardest it can be. I've got, I've got them on default. QTE speed, default. And then the others are just longer. So I've got it on the, the hardest it can be. There's no shorter uh, with the quick time events. Uh, check mod lounge. I think you will enjoy. Very sexual gift, this, isn't it? <laughs> it's good. It's good. I like this gif. I like this a lot. We could do it in better quality with the, with the recording. I'm a fan of this gif. <laughs> it's funny. Ha <laughs> ha.
Mikey said that's why they pay her the big bucks. <laughs> uh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> new emote i have no idea when you would ever use this as an emote when do you ever drop this in a stream At, in what situation are you like oh i know which one i'm gonna to suck boom when will that ever happen Chat will find a way. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh, there's a blowjob. Boom. Like, I mean, there's not, this, this is a very. <laughs> or you use it in its, for what I'm doing. I'm gen I'm like getting warmed up, you know. The problem is I don't know. I don't. I, I, now all I see is just the the other thing. Um, that's what I mentioned. How far you got? I started watching a long time ago. Seeing your three K viewers is just amazing. Oh, we were on three K. Nice. My marketing. My marketing paid off with my trailer. That's good. Well, we'll be live again uh, tomorrow, guys. Um, about the same time that I started today. Maybe five ish, six ish. Um, so, uh, that's, um, about 18 hours from now. Today I started at 6, I started playing at 7, but I started streaming at 6. Might, um, yeah, probably around 6 tomorrow. Some, somewhere around there. With the quarry. Yeah, I want to, um, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I want to continue it. I reckon almost it's a three-parter. I reckon it's... Saturday and Sunday. To be honest with you. That's what I did with Until Dawn. Depending on how much I fuck up, I guess. Maybe I get everyone killed. How many chapters? Oh, I don't know. Ten? I mean, looking at turrets, I have 5 of 22. I guess some of them are, like, situational, depending on what I've done previously, but... Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was fun.